6.30 in the morning and we're going to Chiang Mai. 7-Eleven car. Domestic? Yes, please, domestic. domestic. I think we should go to Chiang Mai. 45 minutes it basically takes from Bangkok to Chiang Mai. Thanks, mate. Thank you. Welcome to Chiang Mai. Yes, guys, welcome back to another vlog. Welcome to Chiang Mai. We have come here for 24 hours because we're checking out a beautiful place in the middle of the mountains. We're staying there for the night. It's gonna be romantic. It's gonna be lovely. And I'm gonna try, amongst all the romance, to film a bit of it for you. Hi, are you the grab for George? Where? No? Oh. So it turns out this was our lady after all. Fern Forest Cafe. I promise you, we don't just eat food when we travel together, but that's the bits we film because it's fun. You want to wait? We got to waiting. When you want a coffee, but you also want a hot chocolate. Yeah. Honest review of Fern Forest Cafe. Looks beautiful, but a little bit average. Sometimes the trick is don't go for the place with the most Google reviews that the most tourists have been to. I like these little Chiang Mai streets. Oh. Uh, Yo, his boy is just up there in the wires and they're just chilling. Yo, you only see this stuff in these parts of the world in Asia. This little place that we're staying, it's a bit of a mystery. So this is where it is. You can see these three images zoomed in slowly for the location that we're going. It's an hour and 15 minutes from like central Chiang Mai area. It's a bit of a surprise. I feel like a proper tourist here, you know? I just want to hang out the window having a little look at my surroundings. It's a beautiful drive. It's an hour and 15 minutes to where we're staying from the central Chiang Mai region. And I'm telling you now, we have got shade. We have got sun, we've got bamboo. Hello, bamboo. So the further up the hill we go, the windier things get as we are climbing elevation quite dramatically here. And the place that we're staying, we have to get like a little shuttle from a homestay. It takes us there because where we're staying is literally the peak as high as you can go. It's also freezing cold now. She's got the old uh, GBFC SW6 hoodies on. So once you get a taxi from Chiang Mai Central, you get picked up in this four by four thing. Get in the four by four, my lady. Good. There's a lot going on here, you know? So I've established that this is basically like where Beyblades were found. Then they've got like coconut and they're just spinning it off a stick. Like a spinning top. Yeah, a spinning top. It was Beyblades, right? You know, things like, yeah. the, like yeah. Yeah. this is like the actual like OG, so, like battlegrounds. This is cool. Yo, it's getting violent. He's a bit bigger than the other ones though, you know what I mean? Like, he's only got about three days left until he's too old for this. Yes, bro. Come on. I think we made it. That's where we're going. Through them doors. Good job. Yo. This is actually like we're in some kind of movie. So this is all of our land for the night. It's so quiet here. Do you know what this feels like? What? Did you watch Teletubby? Yes! <laughs> I actually do feel like a Teletubby. Take your hat of choice, ladies and gentlemen. Oh my god, have they got robes? I said what would make some A robe? They've got a bathroom. Hello, yeah. We set up afternoon tea just for your robe. We do. That is a very new hat, I do like that. Oh, toilet! Good old sink. Look at that. The sun is doing like a light show for us. Didn't order that, didn't ask it to. Some afternoon tea. Hello. Hello. We're just going to ignore the fact that Georgie just poured a whole cup of tea over my leg. <laughs> you spilled it down me. You have to put your Cheers. pinky. Bloody spiffingly brilliant. Was dragon fruit just dragon like... fruit is just one of those like it's a bit of this and it's a bit of that but mostly it's just a bit of nothing that's a dead fruit it's a watermelon 
Now I'll give it to the watermelon. They've actually gone above and beyond to make sure that they're a tasty piece of specimen. I'm gonna give you the green one just because it's funny. All right. It looks like it's gonna taste like clouds. Yo, it's got a G on it. <gasps> That's so nice. That is the G roll. Oh, and this one too. Dave Grohl. This is double G. Mmm. Wow. What's that? I'm a whoop. You want? That's actually a sip in a cup. Each each cup is a sip. Cup is a sip. One sip. All right, drink my. Oh. See, this is why you should never jump to conclusions, guys. Your partner <gasps> might actually be doing something nice for you. There's a reason why I jump to conclusions. What are you gonna say? Because you do it all the time. Yeah. No, I don't. Come on, then have a sip. <laughs> oh, there you go. <laughs> See, you can never win with a woman, guys. I promise you. But now I will. See. <laughs> Pour it in your mouth. <laughs> Just a couple of G's. Just a couple of G's on a plate. Just chill it on a plate. I like that, the pink and the purple. Put it in your gob. Proper English, mate. Have a cup of tea in the morning. In all honesty, this is why I miss travel vlogging. Because you get to watch back memories of beautiful, brilliant days like this one. I don't know how many meters we are above sea level. I'll put it up on the screen for you right here. Beyond my fingertips, over these hills, is the Burmese python, because beyond these hills is Burma. All right, so we've got the robes on. It's getting hot. The water's getting hot? Yeah. Oh, there's always those places that they give you, like a jacuzzi bath, to see this, and then they only have cold water. These guys? It's hot. I've got it hot. It's hot. We will uh, cut back to you in an hour. Hot chocolate made by yours truly oh you're the best you are oh yes thank you bath was absolutely fantastic i could not recommend this place any higher it's called thenor the nor it's about an hour and 20 minutes away from chiang mai airport so we've got ourselves a chicken shabu which is like a barbecue grill right Broth. it's a yes it's a soup grill do your own thing do you know what we need though what do we need Marmite. Marmite. We actually do need the marmite, don't marmite we? Marmite in a broth. Okay, so we put the meat. Oh, wait, and here, let me set the table for you, Mr. Benson. What have you got? Are you ready? Bowl for it's me. It's Tom Yummy, this. Another bowl for you. Bop it. Flick it. Bop it. The marmite, this basher, is now in the broth. Exquisite. Whoa. I got the garlic. Do you want to put the garlic in? More? Yeah, that's, yeah. Why not? I'd like to say this has been a team effort, but I do think that Georgie has uh, kind Thank of you. outperformed me and outshone me here. Oh, the garlic! Is it garlicky? The garlic is like makes it. It's getting very, very shabby in here. It's so much better with the garlic. In. We just keep on stacking the shabu <laughs> with more and more ingredients because there's more and more food. There's more and more broth. Oh yeah. Honestly. I think of all of the like little concept places that you could stay, this might be the best one I've ever been to. I'll leave a link in the description. Yeah, it's actually cold, which is such a difference. nothing quite like waking up actually above the clouds as they're moving as the sun rises top of the morning to you top of the morning to you this is lovely behind me there's more like misty fog cloud coming over from the left side as well over my shoulder i feel like this is a good time to share your 2024 goals i share my 2024 goals well first things first i'd love to be able to make clouds <laughs> you know it'd just be cool just to summon them upon at any given moment cloud Goal achieved. I think I'd just like to go to more places like this, really. Just off the beaten track. No one really knows about it. We show them on a video kind of vibe and just keep crushing life. Told you we'd show you what it's like in the morning. The sunrise was absolutely exquisite this morning. It's bloody cold though, guys, I tell you now. Like when you wake up in the morning with no air con, having lived basically constantly with air conditioning for like four years now, to, to wake up with two duvets, no aircon and your girlfriend in a hoodie 
it's a nice little luxury to have once in a while. But we're gonna head back to Chiang Mai Airport to fly back to Bangkok. So we're only here for one night. So, do you have any last words for the man then before I wrap this vlog up and tell them to see us again in Bangkok? I would recommend just one night. Like, comment, subscribe.